Okay. Interesting. I'm not actually sure who I'll on either side. Um, possibly Hanukkah and Chikage for... We'll see. I'm sure they have other considerations than the Okay, I think all of her would up. Okay, sunny stage molds for oh, hero. <clears throat> okay, immediately going for blue chain for hero. That makes sense. Press the forward movement, and then it lets you. Uh, pressure so that who can't just sit there and focus. Now the 2-2 uh, two -two throughout is represented, so he has to at least move up one or recover one. Right. Moon. And pass. Makes sense. Discarding it for an action is just one. Kind of get two actions. We're really playing around the two two possibility here.
wonder if this is a deliberate play around Petal Storm too, because now if he takes the two one to aura, he can choose the backward action for free. Okay. This passive recovered turn for hero. Limits shadow, so I don't dislike that type. Okay, Udo playing Dark Pulse against two cards. Here can react with uh, Song and Dance just to gain the vigor here. Cannot avoid the attack with it. Just a question of whether he wants to try and save Song and Dance or Petal Storm. Not sure why he chose to take the backward movement. But... Fair enough. Ends up losing both cards to Dark Pulse. Okay, Hudo takes the opportunity to just scoop an extra flare and even his reshuffle. No problem for him playing at this range. Hero doing the perpetual wind poke, uh, finds reap. <clears throat> Drop sunny stage. Surge perpetual wind. Goes reshuffling, he's up to three flare now, that gives him access to all three of his special. Dead draw. Interesting. Oh, okay, no, never mind. That makes sense. Moves backward, recovers to avoid sunny stage.
Hero was forced to drop his bloom chain earlier. Could not get the focuses then to do um, the season's turn again. Also, just wasn't ever moving into attack ranges. Very slow game for bloom chain. Ordinarily, you like to see the bloom happen in the first reshuffle, if possible, but not every game is going to those ranges. I think he's going to have a very difficult time in Guardian Spirit in this game, too. At least as things stand. I think that backward movement on Song and Dance and just playing passively at this range is going to come back to haunt him pretty quickly. Okay, we forward twice, opts to discard Dictate that process. I thought he might use Dictate here just for the 1-1 one, one and pressure. And Dictate Perpetual Wind would give him a uh, pretty decent pressure and see what it was holding. <clears throat> Perpetual Wind would not resurge, though. So it makes sense to save that before he tries to do Guardian Spirit. See if his Guardian Spirit gets beat. Oh, that's so bad. Here comes Dark Pulse, range 5. You can't react to it. I guess he can react with um, Season's turn again, but that's still pretty bad. Might be worth doing. If you react with Season's turn again, you can hide your Guardian Spirit in your discard pile. And then that'll let you... I don't know, you wouldn't be able to use it again to pull it from your discard pile into your draw pile. No, that's just sad. That's sad. You'd need another Bloom or a card exchange mechanic to be able to retrieve it later. He had discarded earlier. He could use Season's turn again to set up his Guardian Spirit for his last turn on this reshuffle. But... Oh, okay, interesting. He has to keep Guardian Spirit right. That should be sending a signal to Hero, but we'll see. Okay, Poison Needle. The first poison of the game comes. Cannot be reacted to because Guardian Spirit has range up to... Well, choices here be Muscle Relaxant or Numbing Toxin. I 
And doing just one here lets him uh, awkward out his deck so that he has to consider whether he wants his last card or not. Moving to range three, that kind of invites Guardian Spirit. It also gets out of some of those other attack ranges a little bit. Just to get into that awkward positioning where both of them will have to consider moving back to play attacks, but who can wait for Shadow Wing or use concealment to make up. Is literally sitting here, covering his concealment, ready to be guardian spirit that he knows is there from Dark Pulse. Nice. Go on, play your guardian spirit. Sure, hero spades that also. I think maybe the best thing Kira could do right now is play Perpetual Wind to scout his opponent's hand. Um, when you see it's two attack cards, you know you can more or less safely play Muscle Relax and you don't have to worry about getting Grim Path. At least not as much. So then you just follow up that by covering and playing muscle relax and moving forward and playing muscle money. Downside to that play is that you spent two flare or two one ones with no Real effect? The information effect is strong, but it's not really real. It's not really impacting the game exactly.
Okay. Hero's hand, I can tell he's doing serious math right now. Probably thinking about discarding Guardian Spirit to reseed it on the bottom of his deck. Season's turn. Gonna move forward. Oh. Okay, we're respecting Grim Path by discarding a uh, Dancing Strike. I suppose Wudo will just uh, turn quietly, slowly, accumulate flare. He's more threatened at this range than Hero is, though, so. There's a chance something happens. But he's also just totally safe as long as he holds on. Concealment. If he waits till the reshuffle happens, he can um, throw Fade Light on top of the deck, odd out Hero's deck again, and put Hero in the position where he can't hold cards without playing Poisons. And then finally capitalize on that if he ever plays Fade Light. It's actually possible that Wudo um, overfocuses in this game too, though, because he needs there to be a certain amount of shadow, and he can only dump so much of it with his specials. Ideally, he would like to keep a certain amount of action. Okay, he's going to go ahead and, and even hero stack out here, but... Still makes his... Uh, position a bit more awkward. Once he draws that, he won't be able to save any. can theoretically throw the fade light out here and then just spend his actions recovering the shadow that he loses. Doesn't feel good, but...
you're experiencing the pain of playing against Chikage. Okay, <clears throat> playing muscle relaxant. Mm, it might have been better just to discard Guardian Spirit. I guess you keep alive the chance to play it as a... Except that you are muscle relaxanted right now. Focus recover. Focus recover pass. Cool. <clears throat> Your move. Theoretically, hero can play out his whole hand. You. Prove his reshuffle. Or rather, to take longer between reshuffles, win win the hardcore attrition grinder. But it's already reshuffling a turn later now because of the two poisons.
does feel like a mistake to me. So I hold on to Guardian Spirit, right? Long. Because there's no way you're going to be able to force concealment out of Voodoo Sand. You're literally forced to have play concealment aggressively to be able to play your Guardian Spirit, right? And uh, I don't know if you can back him into a corner where he'll be forced to play that. Like, it might be frustrating for him here to be able not be able to play any of his attacks without playing Concealment first, but... I don't know, maybe maybe you just win by passively sitting at range 2 and reshuffling slower than him. Let's see, right here. An overwhelm aura to do life damage. It gives you the ability to play the destructive or guardian spirit right though. So maybe he doesn't opt for that. Oh, he does it. He plays it aggressively. Seems impatient, but maybe it's correct. Well, that's really bad. Because now you're at range 5, and can use the season's turn again to both defend himself against the Amorphous Mistmane and also turn a card from his discard pile to his deck. Okay, you force him to put that into play pile. Not terrible, but... All right, this forces season's turn. Or he takes it to life damage and Now surely season's turn happens here. To say or he takes the he could do season's turn and take two life damage to be able to respond with in the name of this flag on his next turn. Yeah, and he has enhancements in his discard pile, so he could use Season's Turn to pull an enhancement. Oh, but he has to draw... Wait, no, you may draw a card. Yeah, he doesn't have to draw a card. So he won't get the recover from Season's Turn again anyway. If he opts for that here, he'll still take the two life damage. I think that's fine, though. You set up your next turn, you get the uh, Guardian Spirit rate. Or not, sorry, the destructive spirit rate, and you get a card of your choice from your discard, which is probably going to be an enhancement. You take two life damage, and use that to respond with two life damage and a flare denial within the name of this flag. Oh, he's choosing to draw the card. Why? Why? Still going to take two life damage here. Now you have to reshuffle, and that's going to screw your draw. I don't know. I don't know if that was right. I think 100% better off just not drawing the card. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, 
Enhanced Major card. He could have just taken any enhancement he wanted from his deck, not drawn a card. It then just immediately pretty easily, I guess not necessarily that easily, it landed the Shark of Street right. <clears throat> and in the name of this flag. And kept Dictate on for pressure with a, an extra two or three charge. Okay, well, it looks like he drew that now anyway, so maybe he's better off. So now he's going to have to struggle to get into his attack ranges. Okay, it appears that has not been opted for. And now for the rest of the game, uh, Udo doesn't have to hold concealment conservatively against Guardian Spirit or anything like that. He can just play it out as soon as he draws it. It's no longer that useful for anything. Except for positioning his own attacks. This is fine. Let's him reap away dictate. And throw a poison needle out. <clears throat> um, which poison do you pick here? Probably either muscle relaxant or hallucinogen. Hallucinogen is pretty easy to play around, though. Assuming hero has specials, he can play. All right, and then re. As in reference to Shadow Wing or in reference to Reap. Either way, pretty bad for Euro. Oh, throwing up Miss Bane just to deny aura, plus it resurges itself. I mean, this is fine. You like there being a lot of shadow if you're Wudo. One step closer to Ashen. This is a free replay of uh, Fade Light if Hero decides he needs to do that. Hallucinogen pressures. Uh, Hero into playing his specials. No strong way for Hero to position himself to be able to play play return, a play return, fencing strike, or destructive spirit. They're both kind of dead cards as long as he doesn't have aura. I don't believe he brought Rabbit Step or Sakura Wings, but they just haven't seen them.
I think there's very little merit to saving your hand in this matchup. Even if you hold cards, you end up getting punished by Dark Pulse. And if you hold the single card with poison, it just shows that you value that card a lot. Like if you play a poison card, so that kind of is signaling that you want that card. So when you get dark pulsed, it just hurts even more. That said, if he could sit at two vigor, he could potentially bluff polite return pretty well. I don't think that actually does too much to stime uh, those offense, but it might do a bit. It might at least make him wait for dark balls or something. But you can't do that at one bigger. So the points move. And this is sad. You have a um, season's turn. Face up, so you're not going to be able to get those cards back ever without reshuffling. Okay, so right now, he was paying two flare to be able to hold flight return. Flight return is going to cancel concealment, and then Wudo is just going to pass his turn. Takes the two one, then moves forward one.
Hmm. Is he actually considering being extremely aggressive here and using a backward move? Go down to two aura, and then you do kunai throw, which probably gives you ashen on full moon. You can get four life damage here with that. But you leave yourself wide open. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, better take that one to life. If you take that to life, though, we would have dips back to range three. I suspect. Okay, so now Wudo's like, okay, I got my life damage, time to move forward. There you go. If you take that to Aura, you end up taking four life damage, though, so... Is it better? Probably. Yep, it takes it to life to play around the name of this flag. Also, he's got life to spare. This puts uh, Roche online. Now he has Roche and Amorphous online. Yeah, he'd be in his weight hero route now. He doesn't have to make any aggressive plays. Unless he suspects fear of being able to leave, which doesn't seem terribly bad. Hero does have two cards that theoretically force aura damage. Dictate and Perpetual Wind. <clears throat> However, Dictate is only at the end of turn, so he can't use that to force aura damage into the name of this flag. If Wudo ever ends at aura, though, then Perpetual Wind can either sneak a life damage in, or it can uh, force in the name of this flag through. Granted, to be able to play in the name of this flag safely, he also has to go out to range 4 to play around Roche. Or at least he does now. I feel like Hero's deck is sorely missing a way to move backwards. Rabbit Step or Hero Wings would have made a large difference in this matchup. Which is strange given that the opponent is able to move backwards. Or rather wants to move backwards pretty readily. I can see how you might think, or Hero might have thought that he could just take advantage of uh, Udo using concealment to. Play his own counterattack on his turn.
Hero is currently in a position where he doesn't need flare, he just needs pressure. Rocher might not be bad here. Kind of just crushes your opponent's hopes. There we go. So the attack misses and no after attack is triggered. <clears throat> Means he gets uh, one more chance to even try to play Polite Return at best. Not Polite Return, Dancing Strike. Okay. How aggressive does Wudo want to be here? This is the only turn he'll be able to take advantage of his opponent not having any after attack effects. Which means he doesn't have to play around Immortal Flower this turn, so it might be worth going crazy. On attacks, although obviously he would prefer to have Shadow Wing or um, Help Me Brain Sealment here. He has to sacrifice one of these cards to be able to move. Reasonable. Poison Needle. Which poison choose? Hmm, <laughs> probably muscle relax in here. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Now he missed Banes for Ashen. Yep, there's no there's no denying the ash. Two life damage. I think that's game. Oh, numbing toxin. Okay. I think Hero's last hope would have been if he could have drawn. Destructive Spirit, right. But having no aura, he wouldn't really be able to do anything with it. I think his only play this turn is to play Perpetual Wind into Dictate and in the name of the swag. But it doesn't matter. There's I don't think there's any winning this game for a hero right now. Yeah, play that for free. If you want to short yourself a draw in the future. I believe in the name of this flag is a uh, 
a forced effect, not an after attack. So it's not really affected by Roche. Um That said, Dictate is minus one charge if he plays it right now. Sunny stage would actually be pretty good here. Minus one charge. Oh, but they have disenchant simultaneously. Never mind. Udo would get to choose the order of disenchants, so it would disenchant without an effect. Perpetual wind here, Rudo just takes it to life, and then you can't really hit anything of value here in the name of this flag. Still throw a dictate down as a two charge you can, in the name of this flag to get Riora onto it. It gets you two life damage this turn, but that uh, nothing close to enough. Also lets you play out numbing toxin, but then you end your turn at zero aura range four one. can move forward twice just to recover aura, but then uh, Widow just recovers and passes, and you lose. I think even if Wudo took every attack from Hero this turn to life, still win. I'm choosing to reshuffle. Uh, it's not lethal.
game, you know, Buddha doesn't have to do anything. Just move forward, keep your aura at five, keep your head down. In the game. Probably the only way Hero doesn't die next turn is if he spends a reaction recovering. <laughs> but there's no way he wins like that, so that's not that worth considering. Is he going to go for in the name, or is this just a stall play? This looks like just a stall play now. Okay, flight return online. Okay, it looks like Wudo just recovers and passes. Does have to worry a little bit about destructive spirit, right? But eh, not that much. I don't think he needs to worry about it to the extent that it, it makes sense for him to back out and attack. Could back out one to throw out an amorphous mistbane and then move forward. Just to keep the aura down. <clears throat> Yep, and then you just move forward to range two. That makes it borderline impossible for a hero to be able to get to uh, range five with destructive spirit bottom of his deck. That's game.
he can only get out to range four. He can't get into range to play his destructive spirit. 